All right, so welcome back. This is uh, video number four for my 3030 uh, load development in the series. So today while I was uh, cleaning, cleaning the rifle, whatnot, not so much cleaning it, but just putting some uh, rem oil on the outside and the barrel and whatnot, noticed that the uh, scope base, all four uh, screws in here were loose and uh, I guess I should have taken some preventative maintenance and uh, checked it myself, but I had uh, Cabela's put the scope on uh, two years ago, I think it was, so, and um, I never, never gave it any thought as far as Loctite and whatnot, so, she's tight now, <laughs> and, uh, well, I did load up some different, uh, different powder instead of the Lever Revolution, I was looking on Hornady, looking on Hodgson, and, uh, in the Lyman book, saw there was um, load data for uh, 8208 XBR, and I'm a big fan of the 8208 XBR powder with the uh, 65 Grendel and 223. So I decided to, uh, where I wasn't getting the accuracy, of course, this was prior to knowing the scope was loose, uh, where I wasn't getting the accuracy with Lever Revolution, I figured, well, I'll try the uh, XBR and, and go from there. So might as well shoot them now that I loaded them, right? Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot them. All right. Try to make this. Uh, try to make this video, you know, get it, get it under five minutes. All right. Scratch chronograph. Battery's dead. So, change glasses. Get some. It's, uh, overcast kind of dark from my other glasses so all right here we go <clears throat> I did uh, change primers as well these are the Winchester primers instead of CCI All right, as you can see, I am uh, taking the scope cover and the rings off. Uh, so, one, got a piece of uh, a blank piece of paper, one circle. Let's try to track the scope now, because I got to adjust it. So I will say one thing, this uh, XBR powder definitely has a little more recoil than uh, the uh, Lever Revolution that I was using. Alright, I got five. Now that I got the scope all zeroed in, I say zeroed, it's close enough. So, five rounds of XBR powder at 30 grains. Bullseye. All right. Let's, uh, let's go look at the target. All right, so here's where I the first uh, first shots were trying to get that scope zeroed in. 
12 clicks over, I think it was. Something stupid like that. I wasn't that, that far, but... Uh, so, yeah. Got her over, got her over. Raised her up. And then uh, here, here's the uh, five shots with the uh, XBR powder. Um, there's three here, four, five. Amazing what a tight scope and uh, scope base will will get you. that? Better? I think it's better. <laughs> three shots right in the uh, in the bullseye, and then two uh, two flyers. We'll go with that. XBR powder that. Uh, it packs a punch. I'm gonna I'm gonna get um, get a new battery. It takes a nine volt, so no big deal. And uh, get the get these loads under a chronograph and see what they're pushing because uh, it's very similar to the uh, Lever Revolution factory round. So, all right. So number four. I'll have a number five, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. To a, another box. So I've already gone through a hundred rounds. Uh, this this is uh, will be two. Hopefully I don't have to use up all two, but I only need one for hunting season. So and I love to shoot. So whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, I'll get another uh, fifth video out, and um, I'm not sure. I gotta go to work tomorrow. So um, we'll uh, if I don't get another one out there, you know, this week it'll be uh, next next Monday or Tuesday. So thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe. New subscribers would be cool. I'm on my way to 100. I like that. All right. Thanks. Bye.